Hey folks, I am Tripti Pandey, your today's host. I welcome you to Worldly Voice. Happy Karwa Chauth. On this day, married Hindu women observe a Nirajal fast and pray to Lord Shiva, Goddess Parvati and Karwa Mata for a long life of their husbands. The festival of Karwa Chauth is right around the corner. Every year it falls on the 4th day of Kartik month in the Hindu lunisolar calendar. On this day, married women observe a Nirajal vrat by not having a single bite of food or even a single drop of water after sunrise for the entire day. They mark this tradition for prosperity, safety and long life of their husband. They break their fast only after sighting the moon in the evening and having water and a morsel of food from their husband's hand karwa chauth is widely celebrated in the northern parts of india including punjab haryana madhya pradesh himachal pradesh and rajasthan while karwa means earthen pots chauth means the fourth day during this festival married women buy a new earthen pots to decorate with attractive designs and put sweets and bangle inside According to Drit Panchang, married women observe the Karwa Chauth vrat during the Krishna Paksh Chaturthi in Kartik month. This year, it falls on 13th October and the puja muhurt will only last from 5:54 pm to 7:08 pm. The Chaturthi tithi will be marked from 1:59 on October 13 to 3 am on 14th October. Origin of Karwa Chauth can be traced back to Karwa Devi whose husband got attacked by a crocodile and Savitri who had asked the god of death Lord Yama to return their husband's soul Another legend says that when Arjun went to Nilgiris to meditate Draupadi got worried and asked to Lord Krishna help to ensure his safety Krishna advised her to fast for Arjun just like Goddess Parvati did for her husband Lord Shiva According to Drik Panchang, the legend of Karwa Chauth is also linked to Viravati, who deeply loved her husband. Drik Panchang says that Viravati had seven brothers who pampered her selflessly and break her fast as she would think that the moon is out. Unfortunately, the moment she broke the fast without sighting the moon, her husband died. She couldn't bear the news and was inconsolable. Then Goddess Indrani, the wife of Indra, arrived to console Viravati. She advised Viravati to keep this fast each month throughout the year. Married Hindu women on the day of Karwa Chauth wake up early, take bath, have sarghi before sunrise and observe Anirajal vrat for the entire day. After the moon rises, women see the moon and their husband through a sieve give offerings to the moon and have food to break their fast during the karwa chauth puja women wear a traditional clothes in red or yellow hues done the traditional symbols of women like sindoor bangles bindi etc and apply mehndi on their hands as it is considered auspicious